Hi, I'm Babblefish5. Welcome to another episode of the Hungry Hammock Hanger. It's the show that helps you to eat well on the trail without spending lots of money. This episode has been shot in stunning 2D. When I'm on the trail, especially during long distance treks, I like lunch and snacks to be quick. I like to get my miles over with early in the day, so I tend to carry snacks and lunches that I can make quickly and eat while I'm on the move. Over time, I've grown to detest GORP, and I don't feel much better about protein or meal replacement bars either. And do not get me started talking about ground up, nasty in a can, potted pork products either. That's a rant that I could be on for hours. Today we're making two recipes that can either be a lunch or a snack. And the beauty of these meals is they don't require any cooking at home or boiling water on the trail. Both are filling, savory, and flavorful. The first recipe is going to be a trail pesto. It's an intensely flavorful spread that goes on a pita bread or bagel chips. Take three quarters of a cup of fresh basil and put it into a blender or a food processor. Add two cups of fresh chopped cilantro. Then add two cups of fresh parsley. Three quarters of a cup of walnuts. Three quarters of a cup of Parmesan cheese. One tablespoon of salt. And three tablespoons of minced garlic. Start your blender or your food processor. You can add up to about a cup of water to help get the paste formed well. Once everything is integrated, you're going to have a very thick, flavorful paste. Spread your pesto out on a fruit roll tray or on a cookie sheet if you're using your oven to dehydrate. You want to have this as thin as you can make it. Dehydrate at 145 degrees for 8 to 10 hours. When your pesto is dry and crumbly, it's done. Put your pesto back in your food processor or your blender. Turn your blender or food processor back on for about 10 seconds. Your pesto will now have a rough coarse texture to it. Package your pesto using your preferred method. The serving size for this is one third of a cup. Some of you might be thinking that you can go out and buy a pre-made container of pesto and dehydrate it. Sadly you can't. Pesto traditionally has got lots of olive oil in it, and the olive oil in the prepackaged containers is already mixed in. This causes problems with dehydration, as in the olive oil doesn't allow all of the ingredients to dehydrate completely. This will cause your pesto to go bad fairly quickly. It's best to leave the olive oil out and add it into the pesto on the trail right before you eat it. Doing it this way lets you store your pesto much longer. Plus, making your own pesto ends up being more flavorful because you get to decide what you want in it. Remember to carry about 2-3 to three ounces of olive oil on the trail with you when you take this out with you. Let's talk about cheeses for a moment. I don't dehydrate most dairy products. Eggs, milk, creams, those soft dairy products or, or those raw dairy products I, I stay away from. I just don't do them. However, you can dehydrate hard cheeses. I have really great success with Parmesan, cheddar cheeses, and feta when used in moderation. So I don't have a problem dehydrating those and those meals have always come out really well and rehydrated well and have lasted a long time. Next up is a creamy trail tuna salad. This makes a great lunch and goes well with any chip or cracker. It also tastes great stuffed into a pita pocket. For this meal your shopping list is 15 ounces of solid white tuna packed in water. Two 15 ounce cans of white kidney beans. Two to three tablespoons of your favorite salsa. Drain your tuna and put it into a food processor or a blender. Drain and add your kidney beans and two to three tablespoons of your favorite salsa. Mix thoroughly until the tuna becomes a very thick paste. This is a good base for your tuna. I like to add a few other things to make it more flavorful. I like a handful of walnuts and about a quarter cup of dehydrated cranberries. Let it pulverize for a few more seconds and then your tuna should be done. Spread your tuna out on a fine mesh tray or on a cookie sheet if you're dehydrating with your oven. Make sure the tuna is about a quarter of an inch thick. Dehydrate at 160 degrees for 8 to 10 hours. Your tuna will be dehydrated when it's very dry, very dense, and crumbles very easily. Put your tuna back in your food processor or your blender and give it 10 to 15 one second pulses. Package this using your preferred packaging method. Each serving size is two thirds of a cup. This recipe gives you about four servings. And just like the pesto, you may think that you could go out and dehydrate a prepackaged tuna salad. Um, no, 
No, that's got mayonnaise in it, and that's a raw dairy product. Just say no to dehydrating any kind of raw dairy. Bad idea. Also, this recipe has got much more flavor in it than the prepackaged tuna and gives you much more flexibility in what's in your tuna salad. And more flavor equals more trail joy. To rehydrate your pesto, all you need is some water and a couple ounces of olive oil. Add enough water to where you're just under the level of where, where the pesto sits. Mix very thoroughly. You want to have this to be a very thick paste. Let the pesto sit for about five minutes and then add about an ounce of olive oil. And mix in your olive oil very thoroughly. Put a little bit on your favorite cracker and enjoy. For your tuna, all you need is a bag and a little bit of water. Put enough water to just cover the tuna mix. Mix it thoroughly and then let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes. It'll be a thick paste when it's done. A savory trail tuna sandwich equals unadulterated trail joy. These are two great recipes for the trail. Both are quick and easy to make at home. Plus, there's no need to boil water on the trail. Both recipes are flavorful, filling, and are a welcome change from ordinary trail lunches and snacks. Stay tuned for more Hungry Hammock Hanger episodes. There are plenty more trail recipes to come. If you like this video, please give me a positive rating. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the trail. Mm-hmm.